Hi Taurus, welcome to your mid-month readings. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. And if you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of May, I'm offering two uh, special tarot offers. One, it's called The Tales of the Earth, and it's a reading that focuses on bringing forward messages both of spiritual and material growth. And then the other one, it's called In Between the Sheets, and it's a reading that is more focused into relationship dynamics, specifically into themes of sexuality, intimacy, and the nature of pleasure. So if you would like to know more info about those special offers or any other of my services, just email me. Uh, or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below, and as well my Facebook and Instagram page. So, Taurus, I do feel like during this mid-May, relationships are in focus. I feel like some of you are, are having here an encounter or a chance of an encounter to redo something that was um, to mend something that has been, you know, afflicting or damaging your personal relationships, relationships that have been through some type of hurdle, challenge, even some losses in the way. I think that there's an emotional recovery through the encounter of your energy and of someone else's. I think that this might be about uh, forgiveness. There's an opportunity here for some Taurus during this mid May to forgive something that has been, again, emotionally damaging uh, to you. I feel like there's also for others an opportunity to overcome an attachment that has been with you for a long time, an unhealthy attachment to something that has been you know, keeping you from embracing new opportunities or from expanding um, areas of your life. I think that you are reaching here a phase during this mid-May of completion of something, a cycle that for some of you has been, um, you know, hard. I think that some of you faced, again, a loss. This is a general reading, so this for Taurus, this will be... Um, for all of you will be in d different areas. For some of you, it was love, partnerships. For others of you, could have been losses of dreams, losses of, um, you know, something related to family, something related to your own personal sense of self. There was a sense of loss that has been, you know, with Taurus energy for some time. And I think that this mid month presents the opportunity for you to manifest a different scenario, one where you are emotionally much more fulfilled by the experiences you are encountering. All of this because your main opportunity during the month of, uh, during this mid May, I'm sorry, is the Five of Cups. When we have the Five of Cups as an opportunity, it is an opportunity to overcome grief, sadness, loss, or to stop putting your energy, your focus, only into negative perceptions and actually changing those to more positive and empowering ones, which is your advice, is to use your personal magic, is to manifest what you want, not what you don't want. And I think that some of you are shifting perspective and shifting, you know, where you're putting your energy so you can have better results um, coming to you in your life. I do feel like some of you, this advice of the magician is also about, I think that some of you have been hiding your talents or your, again, your, your, your magic. There's something about Taurus energy that has been selling themselves short. Some of you are, are, are called to find creative solutions to your problems, to your challenges, to things you want to accomplish, because there's a sense of lack of accomplishment during this, uh, during this mid month that it's actually just a challenge. It's, it's an energy that is presented here. So even though it is a challenge, it's also an opportunity to find it, but you have to fight for it, which means that in order for you to have a sense of achievement and results, especially for Taurus that are disappointed or frustrated with their careers or um, where they don't feel you know, creatively stimulated enough in the activities they are involved with, I think that it's very important for you to understand, you know, the concept of co-creation so you can, you know, explore, express, um, you know, and, and, and in a way, seek out ways 
towards achievement, towards greatness, because there's something here of, uh, I feel like others of you are involved in projects that in which you are being called to put more of your creative self, to put more of your intellectual energy into, to put more of your suburb, you know, um, intelligence. I think that some of you are very intelligent and you are very creative again, and you're very capable to have better in your life because the five of cups here is an opportunity is also an opportunity for you again to understand your worth to understand that life is a gift you are a part of this gift and anything that you have inside of you can be used in resourceful manners i think that again some of you are being called to be inventive you know to find ways to um fix situations to you know turn them around or turn challenges into uh, opportunities because that is possible, but it demands growth, maturity, and a sense of... Um, I think that some of you are not dedicated enough to your own, you know, goals or to your own personal, you know, desires, which might make some of you feel like your personal world is not, you know, interesting enough or your world is not, you know, it's, it's not successful. And there's something here of you looking into your life and what encompasses this energy of the world and you feeling like you don't have enough or you are not enough or whatever you have in your, um, you know, in your space, you know, it's, it's just something that, in which you feel you can't, you know, excel or grow. And I think that you're looking to, with a very negative, some of you are looking with very negative eyes into, again, great things you have and new things you can as well um, put into that personal world because I feel like some of you don't like your life as it is right now this is for some of you not all but some of you that don't like the life you have right now it's because you're not putting enough of you into it which means that you are the one that's going to have to add the color the textures the visions you know that you dream of you you have to put that into your world and not wait you know, for something else on, on the outside to come into your world and to do that. I think that you're being called to be more, uh, to take the initiative in changing your world and changing things that for you are not working as what you would like. So I hope uh, you have a great mid month. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting to my channel. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And hopefully we'll see each other soon.